What up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, and today we are going to look at 3D photos in Facebook. How do you do it? So many people are saying, how do you do it? How do you make these 3D photos in Facebook? And I see it all the time. It's crazy, and, and it's going past. And I, uh, yeah, oy, oy, vey. Anyway, uh, geekazine.com, uh, youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification for the next video, because the next video is coming out very, very soon. Simple as that. So, and of course, we're live 24 7 on YouTube and on twitch.tv forward slash geekazine. Go ahead, subscribe over at Twitch and uh, check out the cool perks program we call Rocks. Resin Rocks. R A W K S over at twitch.tv forward slash geekazine. So, today we are going to do this. You've seen this, and I have, you know, there's so many people that are saying, Hey, you know, I come to your profile, I look at your profile, and I think you're swiping up and going like this. Okay, that's nice. There's not all these pictures. And then all of a sudden, it's like, Hey, wait a minute. Wait, wait, what? What's going on there? That's weird. I, wait, what? Huh? What's going on with that? That's, that's, what? With the koalas, they're just kind of popping out here. This is what's called 3D, uh, being able to make a 3D photo. And it's it's the ability, of course, if you move the phone, you can see the 3D. And it's not perfect. It's not perfect because it doesn't know what's behind that koala. So it kind of gets a little confused, as you can see. But the as, as this uh, progresses, it's going to get a lot better. Now, how do you do this? A lot of people have been asking that question. Well, it's actually fairly straightforward. It uses the photo app. And in iOS mostly has this, but depth effect is now coming onto Android. So you, some of your Android phones might be able to do this too, but you might not have the app on your phone if you have an earlier version of iPhone or Android. And of course you can't do this on a PC or Mac as to my knowledge just yet, but there are ways to work around that too. It's it. But the bottom line is you can do this fairly straightforward. I'm going to show you how to do this uh, right here, right now. So let's go back over to this camera here. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to my homepage and I'm going to say, what's on your mind? And I'm just going to do that. What's on my mind? And I'm going to go down all these little things here. We got the camera. We got the 360 photo, which is also a new feature where you can uh, you can actually scan the whole uh, surroundings. You can make a GIF. You can do a live video. You can do a poll. But one of the things is up here. It's called 3D photo. Right there, 3D photo. So we're going to press that. So now it's going to take all my photos. These are all my portrait photos. And, and and that's the key right there. If you're taking regular photos, it's not going to work. You've got to take the portrait photos. So you open up your camera and you slide it over to portrait and then you take the photos. That gives the, the depth effect or creates the depth effect. That way it can also take out the background uh, and change the lighting effects for you. So I'm going to take the first picture. Oops. Didn't want that to happen that way, so let's uh, let's go back, and we're going to cancel that. We're going to do that again, because I want you to see this as we go. So we'll go here, we'll go to 3D Photo, and we'll choose that one. And as you can see, it just did the render. And depending on your phone, it might be fast, it might be a little bit slower. But as you can see, I just took this picture of me in my studio. And as you can see, it's created that. Now the glasses kind of got messed up in here. So I should probably take the picture without my glasses on. And as I move over, you can kind of see a blur on the side because it doesn't know what's behind it. But the idea is pretty straightforward. Now you have a picture of me. And when people move up and down, it's going to move around. Hit next. And then it creates a post. And we'll all say um, showing. And I'm using the swipe app on iOS, which is why you're if you're wondering why I'm swiping and that it's working how to use the three and this swipe app's nice but sometimes it does have its problems so uh if you do get it use it with caution it's i think it's a couple dollars in the app store anyway showing how to use the 3d photo option on youtube boom and we can add to the post just like any other post, we can add location, tag people in it, and stuff like that. Um, but we'll leave it at that. We'll hit the share button, and poof, it just shares it out. And now, there I am. Just like that. Woo! Now, 
like I said, there is ways to, I don't want to say game the system, but there is ways to actually make depth photos without using your iPhone. In fact, I'm, I'm going to point you to this Facebook profile right here, Hanging Pixels Photo Art, and I'll have the link in the show notes. And uh, they've been doing this, and, and of course, you can, they'll, they've been doing a lot of cool stuff with photos and, and using Facebook. And as you can see, there's, uh, there's 3D photo art right there. You can definitely see it on certain browsers. But you just can't create your own, uh, you can't create the 3D art from here, at least not on my profile yet. Maybe some people's it can. There's another one that they created. So as you can see, there's ways to do it without having an iPhone. And, you know, the stuff like the cameras like Lytra, which make the depth uh, effects possible because of the fact that they, they do stuff with uh, cameras and, and light, lighting and, and positions and stuff like that, figuring out, hey, this wall is about a foot away from me or whatnot. And getting that to you is what they do. And so getting, I don't know if Lytra photos will actually work here because I haven't tried it. So don't give it a test and let me know, but don't take my word for it unless you've tested it. Um, but anyway, do that and you can then put it in there. They show you exactly how to do that and go from there. So, uh, but that is how you do uh, put in your photos into, uh, to make uh, your Facebook pop out with 3d photos so I, a lot of people a lot of people have had that have been asking that question especially when i post a new photo in fact i bet you one or two comments from there is how did you do that so that's how you do it and hopefully uh send me your send me what you've done let me know your photos you can go over to facebook.com forward slash geekazine and uh send me a link to your your mug go, doing a 3d uh, photo passing by so thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, you guys geek out and take care.